this motion and after if this does pass that it would turn to resolution and Tony would either appoint someone or assign some of the task to prepare the, the documentation. This is good that we're notifying all the political officers of whatever level of government that they are. Because a lot of times they're totally unaware of these issues in your district and they would like to help uh, if they knew about it. So I'm glad that uh, Mr. Pacheco brought it up as to who should be notified. So we're covering all our bases uh, and gladly we're not omitting anyone. Uh, number one, I think it, it would have served the motion uh, maybe in one fell swoop have the letter already constructed and then we could pass it on to the Corresponding secretary and doctor or whatever change it that way. If the motion passes, the letter would have gone out right away. Because if that letter comes through, we have to vote on that letter again, or we're just going to say. Well, we do actually have a draft letter because this issue was brought up to the executive committee right. okay. support. So there is a draft letter that we can send to the draft. And is that something we should vote on? I mean, just as a matter of protocol or for support? some idea of how high we want this fence. Uh, is there any ideas? Six foot, is that going to be high enough? Eight feet? Uh, what's high enough? That's number two. Um, third, regardless of what happens with this, we should still have some proactive outreach to the coaches and to the parents and the kids that are playing there. Maybe put some signs up on the inside. Hey kids, don't jump over the fence if the ball goes over there. Tell one of the coaches, tell one of the the parent um, advisors to handle it. Please stay in the park, that kind of thing. I think we go a long way as well. So those three things. The letter, I guess, is the height of the fence and uh, also do some outreach with the coaches and the parent uh, advisors that are out there monitoring the kids' play. So is that something that's going to be discussed tomorrow at the 7 o'clock meeting? Yes. The height? Yes. In terms of the height that uh, Mickey brought up, I think it's a standard and a no-brainer. Probably not going to be any higher than any of the public schools in their playgrounds and uh, football fields or around buildings. It's a certain height of height, and that's pretty standardized no matter where you go. So if we're going to put one, that's where it should be. Probably all around the park, not just on Easter, but on Clyde Street where the pool is and the other side street where the parking lot is. The whole park should be fenced in. You know, the thing is, are you saying there's a draft letter? There is a draft letter. Why can't we hear it? Well, we, it was it, it hasn't been, I guess that letter itself hasn't been resubmitted because this is a petition that we have. It's a separate petition that we made. The original motion was going to take these things back to Parks and Rec. And they were going to do a survey and they were going to try to get back to us.
still, it's confusing. There's a draft letter, but we can't hear it because uh, it's not put together.